Greetings once again, AP Calculus AP students. Mr. Record here from Avon High School. We're going to take a look at video number two in our series over topic 4.3. 4.3 is all about derivatives in contexts other than particle motion. And we're going to look at a problem that deals with a penguin population. That should be fun. We are going to be using a graphing calculator, so if you have one handy, you might want to grab it. If not, maybe pause the video and search yours out, and you can follow along with me. Let's take a look at our problem. So here's our example two from the notes that I provide for my students at Avon High School. And let's go ahead and read this together. It's just a mini free response question. We're only looking at part A for our purposes today. Penguin population on an island is modeled by a differentiable function p of time t, where p of t represents the number of penguins and t is measured in years for the time interval 0 to 40 uh, inclusively. There are 100,000 penguins on the island at time t equals 0, and we're given the birth rate for the penguins on the island that's modeled by this b of t function, 1,000 e to the 0.06 t penguins per year. And unfortunately, penguins do have to sometimes meet their demise. And so we have a death rate for the penguins on the island that's modeled by d of t equal 250 times e to the 0.1 t penguins per year. All that we have to do is address this one question. What is the rate of change of the penguin population on the island right at time t equals 0? So if you watch the previous video about falling snow, it's very similar. You have to understand that each one of these given functions are rates. We have the birth rate, that's b of t, pretty appropriate, using b. And then we have this death rate, d of t. b and d do not look like rates. They don't have derivative notation attached, but we have to understand them to be just that. So if we're looking for the rate of change of the total number of penguins, well, we understand that that's a difference between the two, right? We have our rate at which penguins are being born on this island, and then we have this rate at which they're being taken away because of death. So we just simply have to subtract those two values. And we're going to do so at a very specific moment in time, which is at this time 0. So your setup is just none, none other than taking b of 0 minus d of 0, and that will be our answer. Now, if you want, you could certainly call this a name, and it's nothing wrong with that. If it says, what is the rate of change? Maybe we want um, r of t. Maybe we want p of t for penguins. We could call this some kind of a function. And if I'm going to evaluate that function at 0, that's perfectly fine. But it's not so important that this is named. What's more important is that this is going to give us our result. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graphing calculator to answer this. So here we are again using the trusty TI Inspire graphing calculator. Again, you can use any model of graphing calculator. I am going to have you practice more and more, um, especially UTI Inspire users, of storing functions because I would certainly recommend that you do that uh, if this were the full-blown version of this free response question that had multiple parts because it will save you the time from having to re-enter those particular expressions. So we're going to go ahead and enter our b of t. We don't have to use a capital for our letters. And we would say control math template. Um, let's try that again. Control math template. I want to make sure that I bring up the colon equal. There we go. And then I'm going to enter the 1,000 times our e. The multiplication is understood there. Raised to the 0.06 t power. And then, boom, you've got that stored. Once again, if you're watching the video and you use a TI-84, you can do this exact same thing by just simply going into your Y1 menu and storing this function. And you just call it Y1 instead of B of T. And then you can go into your home screen and you can access Y1 and Y2. Uh, and we're going to use uh, our, our uh, second uh, expression, D of T where UTI-84 folks might call this your Y2. So D of T is going to be control, enter, and that's defined to be 250 times E to the 0.1 T, according to our 
uh, handout. So now we just simply evaluate each one of these at zero. I can go ahead and solve along the way and I'm going to get a very clean answer. That might be kind of surprising, but it does work out nicely. Uh, these equations were probably set up to, to do just that. And we have 750. Let's go ahead and return to our document and see how we can finally present this answer. So here we go. Uh, I'm happy to say that I can actually use an equal sign here because I know I don't have to uh, round anything or truncate to get an approximation. And the only thing left to do is make sure that we include the correct units. Because each of B and D were measured in penguins per year, when you subtract those, you would still get penguins per year. And basically, from a general standpoint, what really is happening on this island is right at the very beginning that this study is being done, and we have these birth rates and death rates, right at the beginning, we can pretty much guarantee that the population on the island is changing by that 750 penguins per year. That's certainly something that isn't going to necessarily continue. It depends on the relationship between B and D as time goes on this could certainly fluctuate. Anyway, I hope this helps a little bit more. We have one more video in the context of uh, uh, derivatives with, uh, in context uh, outside of particle motion. And I think it has to deal with the rumor as bananas. So we want you to stick around for that video. We'll see you next time.